Okay, so we're going to quickly go over the Jupyter Notebook support, which is an important feature for data scientists because that's becoming very quickly one of the common ways of sharing code and documentation. So uh, VS Code actually has an integration uh, via the Jupyter extension. So you want to have this installed. If you, if you take a quick look here, this is what the Jupyter extension looks like. Um, it's got some instructions in here on how to create kernels and so on. Um, I'm just going to do a quick demo of how you can use this. So if I do a new file and uh, Jupyter uses the IPython notebook, so I'm going to do test.ipynb. And as soon as I do that, you'll see it has the Jupyter uh, notebook kind of um, icon here, and it's firing up a Jupyter notebook. And what's nice is if you're using an environment that you've already pre-specified, it'll use that by default. So if you've selected a Python interpreter, it's using the same interpreter. Um, so I can put this over here and uh, we can quickly make a Jupyter notebook. Um, I'm just going to switch over to Markdown. I'm going to make a uh, H1 header. I'm just going to call this test and I'll hit shift and enter and it makes my markdown. And if I want to do some code, one plus one, shift enter, this is running Python code. And if I want to do some imports, like import pandas as PD, um, shift enter, and then I can do PD.dataframe, and it gets that for me, and I make a data frame. Uh, there we go. So uh, and when you make a dictionary, you have to have more than one value. Uh, so it's going to be A equals 1, 2, and then I can do you know, B equals a list uh, 1, 2, shift enter, and you can make your data frames and stuff. Um, so that's just a quick overview of the IPython notebook support that comes in Jupyter uh, when you enable this extension.